Hello, my name is John Carruthers. I am a professor of medicine uh, at the University of Michigan Health System. I am uh, presenting a video abstract on our manuscript that will be published in Gastro. The name of the uh, article is entitled Microsatellite Alterations at Selected Tetranucleotide Repeats are Associated with Morphologies of Colorectal Neoplasia. Just to give you a little bit of background on what this uh, manuscript has, is dealing with, first, uh, there's a biomarker we call microsatellite instability. What this is, this is a biomarker for when you lose the functional aspects of DNA mismatch repair. DNA mismatch repair is a complex uh, protein uh, enzyme system that repairs DNA largely after DNA is replicated in cells. If you pass on a germline mutation in one of the DNA mismatch repair proteins, you have a, a predisposition to colon cancer and other cancers, and we call that Lynch syndrome. And patients with that will have a high propensity for colon, endometrial, stomach, small intestinal cancers, as well as certain skin tumors in some cases. Um, there is a, another type of microsatellite instability we call it elevated microsatellite alterations at selected uh, tetranucleotide repeats, or EMAST, E-M-A-S-T. This was discovered approximately 10 years ago in largely head and neck uh, tumors uh, and urologic tumors as a marker uh, for the presence of those tumor, but it was not associated with any defect in DNA mismatch repair, like traditional microsatellite stability uh, had been. Uh, about a year and a half ago, a paper that came out from the Bolin Group in Dallas uh, looked at uh, a, col a group of colon cancers and showed that colon cancer for the first time demonstrated these EMAST alterations and by doing immunohistochemistry, suggest that there was a heterogeneous expression for one of the minor mismatch repair proteins we call HMSH3. This was the first time that one of the mismatch repair proteins could be associated with this form of uh, instability we call EMAST. Um, I should say that uh, if you look at the biological function of HMSH3, uh, based on bacterial yeast data, HMSH3 is part of a complex with another mismatch repair proteins that repairs these longer repeats, such as tetranucleotide repeats, and thus logically might be associated with the presence of EMAS. However, this, uh, the paper by Bolin in Cancer Research in 2008 was the first hint that that could happen. Uh, now, the biological consequences of having EMAS is not known. The supposition is that HMSH3 could be associated with EMAS, uh, but what does that mean biologically? So that is not known. In the, micro, the, in the manuscript that we present here for gastroenterology, we wanted to determine if EMAS was associated with the adenoma to carcinoma progression as well as any change in morphologies of colorectal neoplasia. This had not been determined uh, uh, in the past. Uh, to do this uh, manuscript, um, the lead author, Sun Young Lee, uh, was able to acquire approximately 108 um, uh, colorectal neoplasms, 24 adenomas, and 84 colorectal cancers from Kankuk University in Seoul, uh, South Korea. Uh, with these samples uh, was uh, clinical pathological information, as well as uh, we used the biological samples and examined them for the presence of microcellular instability, the presence of EMAS, as well as immunohistochemistry, or particularly HMSH3, to uh, assess whether uh, we could also associate HMSH3 loss with EMAS. Um, and uh, by, to, to assess for MSI and EMAS, the 
Samples were microdissected under a dissecting microscope. The DNA was extracted, and uh, standard microsatellite markers uh, uh, were used to assess for microsatellite instability. And this is uh, the NCI recommended markers. And we use five tetranucleotide markers to assess for EMAS, which have been used in the literature. And we use the definition of at least two alterations of the tetranucleotide markers out of the five to call a tumor EMAS. The results of our study um, show a couple things. First, six of the 84 colorectal cancers, or 7%, showed microcellular instability as we traditionally know it. However, 50% of those 84 uh, colorectal cancers showed EMAS, demonstrating two things. One is that every single microcellular unstable colorectal cancer, all six, were all EMAS positive, and that EMAS can occur in non microsatellite unstable uh, or microsatellite stable tumors, suggesting that this crosses different types of genomic instability. So 50% of the 84 colorectal cancers showed EMAS, whereas only six of the 84 of the colorectal cancers showed microsatellite instability. In looking at clinical pathologic associations, we found a much lower incidence of EMAS in adenomas. And by the way, none of our adenomas showed microcell instability, suggesting that all of these were sporadic uh, adenomas and not Lynch syndrome adenomas. And also a low incidence of EMAS in well-differentiated adenocarcinomas. But the level of EMAS rose dramatically in moderately differentiated and poorly differentiated uh, adenocarcinomas. This finding suggests that EMAS is likely acquired uh, from the adenoma uh, to carcinoma progression. In assessing morphologies, uh, several of the tumors were flat, several were polyploid, and we also had a number of ulcerated tumors. In assessing EMAS among these uh, uh, morphology, uh, morphologies, EMAS was much lower in flat and or polyploid tumors, which had a, a normal uh, uh, or undisturbed uh, surface as compared to ulcerated or ingrown uh, colorectal cancers. What this suggests is that EMAS is much more common when there is a breach of the cancer uh, and there's a lot of inflammatory cells. We had previously published a paper uh, showing that EMAS uh, presence uh, uh, was much higher when the density of uh, tumor infiltrating lymphocytes was higher. Uh, these findings suggest that, uh, that EMAS may be associated with inflammation, largely in these ulcerated tumors, as well as the previous published level of inflammation associated with um, a higher levels of EMAS and, and lymphocytes. Also, we took all these tumors and stained them for uh, HMSH3, since this had been previously uh, suggested through heterogeneous expression uh, and loss uh, that it could be associated with EMAS. Uh, like the uh, Bolin paper published in 2008, we found much higher levels of loss of HMSH3 in a heterogeneous pattern in ulcerated uh, adenocarcinomas as well as uh, the poor and moderately differentiated adenocarcinomas, perfectly matching to the higher levels of EMAS found in these tumors. In addition, we found there was nuclear heterogeneity of the expression of HMSH3 largely in these uh, EMAS tumors. So what that means is that there is uh, pockets of loss of HMSH3 as the uh, adenocarcinomas acquire 
more EMAS uh, positivity. There was no association with EMAS and the location of the tumor in the colon, the degree of microinvasion, or the staging of the patients, or the presence of metastases. We did find one other thing, and that is that by using the five EMAS markers, when more than three of the markers were positive, this correlated 100% with a, a, a high degree of HMSH3 loss. What this has implications for is the definition of EMAS. In, previous, uh, in some previous manuscripts, uh, uh, authors had called tumors EMAS if one marker out of five was positive. Based on our data, which we used the, the definition of two markers, out of pos uh, uh, two markers out of five positive to call it EMAS, and we found 50% of our 84 colorectal cancers showing EMAS, we do show on this data that if three markers are positive, that you had basically 100% correlation with HMSH3 loss. To sum up, uh, EMAST is a form of microcyte instability that based on our findings is suggestive of, uh, is suggestive of a linkage to loss of uh, the mismatch repair protein HMSH3. It is shown uh, by our data to be an acquired defect spanning more than one type of genomic instability. It is an acquired defect that is not present in adenomas and only loosely present in well-differentiated adenocarcinomas and much higher presence in moderately differentiated and poorly differentiated adenocarcinomas of the colon. In addition, EMAS is associated with uh, tumors that are ulcerated and they have a high degree of lymphocyte infil uh, tration, suggesting a link with inf inflammation uh, uh, in the tumors. Lastly, uh, it is associated with uh, loss or heterogeneous expression of HMSH3, uh, and particularly uh, the loss through nuclear expression of HMSH3. And if at least three of the five uh, tetranucleotide markers are present, it's almost 100% correlative loss of HMSH3. I thank you for your attention.